Hi, Tony here at Views from the Man Cave and welcome to part four of the Bonneville T100 build. So we're still concentrating on the back end of the bike and the aim for this video is to show you how to remove the big bulky plastic air box. But while we've got the back end of the bike apart, there's a few other jobs to do. Uh, I'm going to fit the relocation bracket for the rear brake caliper. I'll do that in another video and there's a few other bits and pieces we can fit while we're there. But let's crack straight onto the job. Now just to make things a little easier, I've got the bike up on the stand. Uh, one thing to do this job though, you will need to get the back wheel off the ground. I just use a relatively cheap scissor jack, um, so chock the front wheels, get a scissor jack in, that gives me the ability to get the bike pretty stable, but it also means that I can just lift it off and get the back wheel off. Now to get the air box out, I'm going to have to take the side panels off, I'm going to have to take the battery out and the little electronic pack that sits in the top here. I'm also going to take the exhaust off. You don't necessarily have to take both sides off because you can get to this nut on the axle and pull the axle out from the other side. But for ease I'm going to take both exhausts off. I'm also going to take the rear foot pegs off because we're going to blank those off. As well as taking the back wheel out I'm probably also going to undo the shocks at the top just so I can get the swing arm down right out of the way and that's just going to make it easier to get this plastic air box out. Okay so we get started by taking the side cover off. This one has already been fitted with the Motone knurled grip but once that bottom box I'm done it's just a case of lifting off of the two prongs there and there's the side cover off that side cover isn't going to go back on because in a future video I'm going to be previewing these which are the new Motone side covers which are a beautiful thing so that's coming up in a future episode but once you've got the side cover off you've got access here to what's going on so everything here has to come off of the box um, and this also needs to be slackened off from the throttle bodies um, but first things first is to get the battery out the top you've got a rubber bung strap which just hooks on so take that off put that to one side uh, I'm then going to lever off the plastic cap for the battery and then it's just a case of undoing those two bolts on the top that's the battery and the terminals undone you've then got this little ECU that sits behind in a little slot behind that with a spacer so you can take that out and then it's simply a case of lifting the battery out you've just got four bolts one in this side one here these two at the back you need to undo those that's going to then mean that all of the work at the top end here to get this battery box out is done. Okay, so we've got the four bolts out of the top here. It's then a case of getting these bits off. Now, as I mentioned, there is a little bracket that goes here which has a mount for the rear brake master cylinder and also for this fuse box. Over the period that it's been in the Motone workshops, that's disappeared. So, unfortunately, I can't show you that. You've got a little four mil bolt here which takes off that fuse box. And I'll just put the bolt back in there so I know where that is. You've got this little sensor here again there's just a little pinch lever that will pull off you can then move that out of the way loosen off the clamp on here and I'll give that a little bit of a push just so that's ready to go but you can see that now this is not bolted up at the top here you can move this back a little bit and this will lift off of these throttle bodies. So that's this side done. Let's get around and undo the other side. Okay, around to the other side. And again, we've got one of the Moto knurled bolts on here. Lift that off. And again, when we come to change the other ones, you'll need to keep the rubber, sort the rubber bungs out of here. But this now exposes what we've got on this side slightly more complicated um, although not a great deal little rubber bungs on here where these will lift off so you can lift these off quite easily get those out of the way same with this one there we go now to get this out again I'll loosen off that's the little three mil allen key yeah we've got a bit of movement uh, but you'll notice that there's a problem here uh, this snorkel won't go past this frame rail so you've got three small bolts here just undo those three small bolts this will pull out this is where the air filter goes this will pull out and this will give you room to be able to slide that back 
once we've got the back wheel out. Right, so once these three 8 mil bolts are out, that snorkel will just pull off and you may as well, you can leave this in there but you can if you want to pull the air filter out uh, and there you can see obviously now that will just slide back out of the way so let's crack on with getting the exhausts and the back wheel off you've got a 6 mil allen key here just to loosen off that clamp there we go so that's off then it's a case of undoing the nut on the back of the footrest pull the footrest off which holds the hanger and then the exhaust can just slide off. 12 mm nut on the back there that unscrews I'll stick the washer and the nut on back. Now I'm not going to put these back on uh, we're probably going to blank those off but once that off that's off you can just pull that down out of the way and there we've got pretty simple access to get to the rest of this I'll just whip the exhaust off the other side and then we can cover off taking off the back wheel to make things easier next job I'm just going to take the rear mudguard off so that's a T30 Torx head uh, screw tricky one to get to at the back end here if you've got an extension bar uh, that's going to be great I haven't got an extension bar for this little socket but that's tricky to get to but I'll get these two undone and then we can get this off out of the way so next job is just to loosen off this axle nut 24 mil socket I'll just loosen this off while the bike is still sitting on that back tire and now this bolt is loosened off it means we can slacken off the adjusters these are quite a nice clever uh, set of adjusters on the back of the Triumph uh, this little bolt here 8 mil bolt if you effectively tighten that up that pulls the axle in so we can do this to make the chain loose and there's another one on the other side so what we can do is adjust those right in you can see actually you can do that with my fingers now both sides at the same time and you can see how that's moving everything in the chain will be slack enough for you to lift that off move that out of the way so I've now got the back wheel off the ground uh, this I've already loosened so that nut can come off and once this is undone then you can draw the axle out and that rear wheel will come away now once you've taken the axle out I would recommend putting the spacers on in the way that they go so on this side you've got this spacer with the nodule sticking out put that on there take this spacer from out of here put that on there put the nut on the end and then you know you're not going to lose anything and then with that done you can just roll the wheel out of the way now this gives us access to the back of the battery box but to make it slightly easier i'm just going to undo the two top shock bolts that will allow me to swing the swing arm down out of the way completely uh, which is going to make it much easier to get this box out whilst we're here that's going to come off because we're going to replace that with the motone part that goes in up the other way and puts the caliper on the top and you'll need to reroute the cable and stuff for that but you can do that once the air box is out of the way so let's concentrate on getting this bit out so i've taken the 12 mil bolt out of this side 12 mil bolt out of that side and if you just knock the shocks off just support that and then we can swing that swing arm right out of the way which gives us plenty of space to get to the air box here so this could be pretty fiddly but with everything else undone and that swung out of the way so you should be able to slide the air box back so that it's off of the throttle bodies so there is a slight knack to this once you pull that back these plastic bits will block on and it make it difficult to pull that through if you just drop those down which is why I swung the axles out of the way it just comes out of there no grazed knuckles no real problems now this big lump of a heavy air box is out all you need to do then is to drop the replacement battery box in the back here okay whilst we've got nothing here obviously we've got now no cover for this so I've just got a pair of small k and filters uh, which I will just push over to the end there and then nip up 
You can put those on now, that's not going to get in the way of, uh, of the battery box that goes in. So there you go, there's the removal of the air box. Um, it's time consuming, a little bit fiddly, but not too difficult a job. Now I said it earlier on that I've got this on a scissor stand. Of course you can do this with the bike on its sensor stand. Tune in on part five to see the battery box go in and the connections made for that and the rear brake relocation bracket. As usual there will be links in the end credits for you to go away to the Motone website to be able to order the parts to do this job uh, and until next time thanks for watching take care ride safe and I'll see you soon. Bye!